happy day, I'm good. And today I'm gonna play God Mode in BitLife, just like I do with my little Wink, who needs to be protected at all costs. Imagine being this small. I am a skyscraper compared to him. Imagine being this old. He's like 150 in dog years. You nasty, you nasty little guy. This is Twinkie Hamsterball. He is very, very vulnerable. He's from Toronto, Canada, and I'm going to select his appearance. I mean, this actually kind of looks like him if he was human. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. And okay, athleticism, zero. Discipline, zero. Fertility, we're gonna put that at 100%, because like, Twinkie, Twinkie's a nasty, nasty little guy. Happiness, always at a steady 50%. Could go either way. Happiest dog in the world whenever I give him something. Kind of just, oh jeez, oh, if I'm busy and I have to film. I'm sorry. And health. Zero. We're gonna try to keep this guy alive, okay? Oh, karma's gonna come back to him. We know that. His looks? I wanna say 100%, but let's go with reality. A solid 30. Twinkie loves male pugs. I would say Twinkie is a galaxy brain and willpower. One time I was sleeping and Twinkie woke up and didn't wanna leave me because I liked to sleep with him every night. And he like looked at the floor and then looked at me, and then looked at the floor, and looked at me, and like had an actual thought process about whether or not to abandon me. So we're gonna put willpower at 75%. Actually, but if you put food in front of Twinkie, 60%. Here we go. I know, I know, it's a hard life. You're an Aries, we been new. Twinkie Hamsterball. Father is Drake Hamsterball, a restaurant worker, and Yvonne Hamsterball, a hairdresser. Why is your hair so bad then? Oh jeez. okay. E. coli, that's bad. All I had was my mom's milk, that's it. And I got E. coli from it, I'm telling you, my immunity is bad, very, very bad. Your mother is calling towards you in a soft voice. You feel inclined to respond. <laughs> is this when I take him out to the park and I'm like, Twinkie, and he like doesn't listen and I have to be like, Twinkie! Do I spit, say dada, cry? or say mama. Well, I think he says mama. Let's go. I need to go to the doctor now. I can't take myself to the doctor. <sighs> Whooping cough! Eh! Mom, dad, take me to the doctor. Your mother is taking you to the doctor's office to get vaccinated. How will you behave? We're definitely going to do as the wink does. We're gonna stay calm. Hopefully there's a lollipop and hopefully this vaccination cured my E. coli and my whooping cough. This is why I'm so protect- No! <laughs> No! No! Oh, no! We're gonna try again. Twink balls. This is the better updated version of Twink. Health? Okay, we're gonna go for 10% this time. Here we go. Pretending to do things is a lot of fun, but you're not sure which activity is the most fun. What will you choose? Playing house? Cooking food? Talking on the phone or driving a car. Definitely not driving a car that's way too dangerous. Talking on the phone seems safe enough. You're considering which skill you will perfect in order to impress everyone you know. What will you choose? Toothbrushing skills? Hmm? You ever heard of a toothbrush? Building block skills, tricycle skills, or riding skills. Now this, this guy, if he was a human, he'd be a rider. We're gonna keep you alive, bud. I'm not gonna let you down this time. Your mother has married your new stepfather, Zachary Wright, AKA Teebs, a 23 year old hairdresser. That sounds pretty good. Now that you have a stepfather, you're wondering how to address him. What will you call him? Okay, so very respectful, risk averse, gotta protect these rickety bones. It's gonna be sir. Okay, baby brother, that didn't happen in real life, but you're going to elementary school and we lived this time. I can do a little boost for his health, but you know what? Let's see what it is. Your friends offer to teach you how to break popsicle sticks using martial arts. Um, no, you're not gonna fight. You're gonna kick it on your couch. Look at these little fingers. If he tries to break the board, the board is gonna break him. You broke your mother's grandfather clock while you were playing. What will you do? Are you scared of your mom? I'm gonna say yes, it wasn't me. Your stepfather has threatened to leave you behind while at a park, what'll you do? Tell your mom! You told your mother about your stepfather's behavior. We gotta get rid of him, he's evil. This is not okay. You're picking capture the flag teams at recess and it's the last pick, who will you choose? Okay, so usually I'd go for the scrawny kid or the uncoordinated kid because I feel bad. Oh, I thought it, there was gonna be like a buff kid who could protect me and prevent me from getting hurt. I feel like both the scrawny and the uncoordinated kid are gonna get me hurt. Oh, just surprise me, I can't even look. Okay, the scrawny kid. I mean, he might be scrawny and strong. I've met a lot of those in my life. You have an opportunity to have your first kiss with a girl from your class named Isabella Bieber. Okay, so no kissing, cause 
Twinkie's immunity, probably if he was a human, not good, running away. I don't like girls anyway. It's time to go to your first school dance. You're attracted to a girl in your class named Justine Berger. What'll you do? What's with all these girls? I'm going by my, no, you know what? I'm staying home. I gotta stay safe. Your mother is concerned with your eyesight and is taking you for an eye exam at the optometrist. Okay, we really need that because if you look at Twink, he's so old that you can kind of see that he has cataracts, like his eyes are like blue. The circle of life. Da -da -da. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but yes, we really need that eye appointment. Oh geez, no. Start the test and then tap the letter or number that's different than the others before the time runs out. <gasps> Oh geez, I can either say forget it, I need glasses, or start. No, you know what, we're gonna test our sight. Oh geez, oh geez, okay, okay. Uh, no. Oh, I'm blind. I thought that the K was different than the other Ks. Why did I think that? It wasn't. <gasps> you failed your eye exam and have been issued prescriptions. Pick out some eyewear. What would Twink wear? Probably like the biggest, bulkiest, like just like giant. I love giant glasses, because then like when you look down, there's still glasses and it's not like all blurry down there. Let's get these. Pretty cute. You haven't been able to go an hour without peeing out of your butt. What'll you do? Can I talk to my mom? Drink a smoothie? No. <laughs> Search the web? No, because it's gonna tell me I'm dying. It doesn't bother me, I'm gonna go to the doctor. Hopefully the doctor's office isn't like gross. Which local doctor will you schedule an appointment with? Dr. Scott or Dr. Adam? Dr. Adams has a very good reputation and we are risk averse, so we're gonna go with Dr. Adams. Treat me for diarrhea, thank you. No longer have it. While in your math teacher, Mrs. Ross's class, your classmate, Brad, all of a sudden begins ripping pages out of the class textbook one at a time, yelling, addition by subtraction, with each new page tear. What will you do? I'm going to be risk averse and report him to the principal. We're going to, oh no, Brad hit me and he socked my waist. He wa pay! Chappelle! No, 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 that's not what I wanted. Oh, I shouldn't have been a rat. I should not have been a rat, but hey, they don't call me Rat Fink for no reason. The goal here is to live the longest life possible. I need to do it. Your mother wants to take you and your siblings on a road trip to visit relatives in Winnipeg. I'm gonna refuse to go because what if we get in a car crash? You're starting secondary school. We made it to secondary, let's go! Okay, so my athleticism is really bad, so I'm just not gonna be interested in extracurriculars, but at the same time, like maybe I could work out and get stronger. Surprise me. Ooh, animal rights club. Getting in there. It's time to take your driving test. Will you take it? Absolutely not, because what if we get into a crash? Your mother has confronted you about your sexuality. I'm gonna say I'm coming out and hopefully my mom understands. Okay, she does. I mean, she's me, come on. Okay, what is the safest university major I can possibly do? Maybe I'll do biology so I can like be my own doctor. Apply. Oh gosh, will my mom pay? They refuse, I would never refuse. Scholarship? Yeah! You're in a group video chat with some friends when a heated debate arises over which celebrity looks the best wearing a face mask. Who will you say? I mean, everybody's like kind of posting their face mask pictures right now. I haven't seen any of these people wearing them, but I'm gonna try to imagine it. And I, I imagine Selena Gomez looking really good. So we're gonna go with that. Your half sister Alice wants to get up to some mischief with you. No, I'm not a troublemaker. I'm trying to live a long life. Your classmate Jeremy tells you that he's going to fail your professor Dr. Jackson's class until you let him cheat off of you on the up coming exam. On one hand, of course I'm risk averse and I don't want to help him cheat because if I do, I'm going to get expelled. But on the other hand, what if I don't help him and he beats me up? Um, I'm going to help him study instead. He passed the exam. Okay, he didn't beat me up. I can't afford it. I can't afford the health. I'm gonna go to med school. Wait, should I be going to med school? It's kind of dangerous there. Uh, whatever. Let's see if I can get a scholarship to get in. Oh geez, I don't, ugh. Twinkie being a doctor, I don't know about that. Ooh, my parents got a divorce. <laughs> I'm happy about it because my stepdad is really evil. Some of your friends are eating oysters. Will you join them? No, because it's raw and you never know. Like I personally, eat raw oysters, but I'm not gonna let my little son, who gets E. coli all the time, eat it. Ooh, love interest, while at a funeral. <laughs> Oh no. You meet a young man named Jordan. Do I ask him on a date? Okay, so he's too crazy. And I don't like kissing right now because it's like too many germs. Uh-oh, you're experiencing a bad fever and you feel like the only thing that could possibly help you would be a prescription for cowbell. What will you do? I'm going to the doctor, of course. Going to Dr. Adams again, he's really trusty. Oh geez, he diagnosed me and we all know what it is. Treat me, please. I'm cured, okay. That could have been really, really bad. While stuck at home, because you can't leave the house, you decide it'll be fun to binge watch a favorite show that you enjoyed as a kid. I think, hmm, I think Dragon Ball Z. Okay, we're gonna look for a job. What is the highest level doctor that doesn't come in contact with sick people? I'm gonna go for a brain surgeon 
because usually there's something wrong with their brain and it's not contagious. While being interviewed for the brain surgeon position at Peacock Hospital, you were asked the following questions. How did you hear about this position? Oh, I can either say I can't remember which position I saw someone mention it on Facebook or a friend told me about it. These are all horrible. I'm gonna say a friend because like it's a referral. I got the job, yes. Okay, I told you, I don't want love right now. I'm scared. Your half-brother, Sean, wants to get up to some mischief with you. I'm not a troublemaker. I'm trying to live a long life. Your supervisor, Yvonne, approaches you and tells you that she needs you to start putting in 10 more hours a week of unpaid overtime. I should have known that this was gonna happen. I feel so bad for everybody who works here. I have to take care of my health, but I don't wanna refuse and insult her. If I explain that I can't do that, I'm gonna get fired. Is it worth it? Oh, geez, surprise me. No, this is not going well. A stuck at home friend of yours just tagged you in the until tomorrow Instagram challenge. What will you do? It's Instagram. I can have fun with it. I'm posting an embarrassing picture. Your supervisor, Yvonne, thanked you for the extra effort and informed you that you can start putting in normal hours again. Oh, it didn't last forever. That's what I wanted to know. You just discovered that your coworker Bentley wrapped all of your personal belongings in plastic wrap. Thank you. I'm the hamster ball man. I'm laughing at all. Oh no. Just because I did it once, Yvonne knows that I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna explain that I can't do that. You explain to your supervisor that working 52 hours a week is not congruent with a healthy work-life balance. Don't fire me. Just as you're putting all the final touches on a big project, your coworker James shows up reeking of adult juice and causing a ruckus. What'll you do? I'm going to have a talk with him. He hated it and hopefully he doesn't beat me up. While at work, a patient is attempting to negotiate a 10% discount on his brain surgery. What'll you do? I'm not a discount brain surgeon. I'm risking my life to be here. I'm not going to the casino because I can't risk, like I need this money in case I get sick. A gentleman named Max Page asks you to sit on his lap and talk about, okay, you know what? No. Your half brother wants to go canoeing? That's hmm, safe. Yeah, fine, we're gonna go canoeing. While sitting in a train station, you encounter a junkie mocking you. What'll you do? All I can do is ignore her. I'm gonna pretend like I don't see her because I can't risk it. A guy named Emily wants to be your friend. Emil? No, we met at the grocery store. He was touching all the apples. After performing a brain surgery for 12 hours, you begin to feel extreme mental fatigue, even though the surgery is not yet finished. What will you do? I need to ask for another surgeon to step in. I need to take care of my health. Your coworker Nick wants to become your friend. No. Stop asking to be my friend! Ooh, I'm worth two million. Your supervisor Chelsea approaches you and tells you you need to work more. No! I can't! Leave me alone! You've been canned! I got fired! You know what? I have 2.2 million dollars in the bank. I'm good. Bye, wish you well. Uh-oh, no, this isn't good. I'm gonna boost my happiness. A neighbor invites you to participate in a one day neighborhood cleanup. How is that going to improve my happiness? It's for people living in our area, we're millionaires. I don't wanna get sick from all that garbage. You've been feeling negative lately and wanna be more positive with your interactions with others. What'll you do? Laugh more? No, because other people will laugh and their germs are gonna get on me. Smile more? Smiling's good. I'm gonna smile more. I'm just gonna be like alone in my house, just smiling at myself. Oh no, I have anxiety. Oh jeez, I'm getting sick. While playing chess at the park with an old man, you encounter a wolf. Get away from me, I'm running for my life. Get me out of here. You and a friend are relaxing on a park bench inside a secluded rose garden. What'll you do? Skinny dip in the fountain? No, that's way too dangerous. I might get bit by a turtle. Take time to smell the roses? No, the roses might have pollen and I have an allergy. Cut some to take home. Oh jeez, all I can do is surprise me with this one. Not skinny dip, dang it, shouldn't have done that. While at a Black Keys concert, you meet a gentleman no, I don't want, no, what happened to my health? It's at 16. It was at 80% just yesterday. You went out to eat at Manhole Diner with your friend, Emil. And I told you I didn't want friends. You heard the server call you a wiener face behind your back. That is so rude. I don't want to get in a shouting match with a manager. I don't want the server to yell at me. I'm going to pay leave and not return. How did I, I'm, I'm trying to be the best person I humanly can. Hey, I'm an academic though. Who would have thought? Twinkie balls. 60 is pretty good. And you're an academic too. I always knew you had a big brain. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Say bye. Oh, don't look at me like that. I'll put you down.